Exactly. And it's crazy that nothing he's special exactly. about the way he looks. Like he's physically, tiny. No, he's tiny. he doesn't look like a power puncher. He just looks like a regular guy, but his power is extraordinary. Oh. What did you think about that uh, eight round knockout? I thought it was an electrifying fight. I thought I felt like Frank came to fight. I salute Frank. He came to fucking fight. But the electric man turned his lights out. All right, you can tell you went more aggressive now, but it was a good fight. Hey, Frank did a great, a tremendous job, but take his tank. You know what he do, he do what he do. It was amazing, man. He said he was going to knock him out in the eighth round, and he did. He waited a little bit, but... I feel like he was getting him tired and he did his thing. But when they call Frank the ghost, why can he dead? Zeke, what did you think about that knockout? It's expected, you know, exciting fight. It's always fun coming out to see Tank fight. Gervonta Tank Davis, after his knockout, has essentially become the face not only of the lightweight division, but of boxing as a whole. He is swift, invincible, and elusive in the ring. It's challenging to find a competitive opponent for Gervonta, as he will always find an opportunity for another knockout in his career. In the lightweight division, there are simply no worthy opponents left who can fight Tank on equal terms. But wait. You know, during my during my boxing career, I never I never uh, run in around, and I always take fights. Never get a gap. Lomachenko also is one of the great fighters of of our era, of this era, of, of this time right now. He's one of the, I mean, two-time gold medalist, three-division champion, started at featherweight, went up to junior lightweight, then lightweight, and won a world title in his third fight, I believe. I mean, this, this, guy, is one, this guy is special. Vasil Lomachenko versus Gervonta Davis, a clash of two elements, two completely different boxing schools known worldwide. Ukrainian technique against American aggression. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the verge of possibly the most significant confrontation in boxing in recent times. The IBF champion, former holder of three world titles in the lightweight division and world champion in three weight categories, will face the young, promising WBA title holder, undefeated with one of the highest knockout percentages in boxing. Vasil Lomachenko vs. Gervonta Tank Davis. A fight where youth and experience, immense power and incredible technique, speed and strength will collide. Get comfortable, throw your powerful hook at the like button, because this promo will be truly amazing. Let's go. Sure, but Gervonta is the most economical. The thing is, like, he keeps you backing up and he wears you out without even using too much energy. And then as he gets you into the later rounds, you're starting to slow down and he's just warmed up. Yep. His boxing IQ is wild. But wild. They, they, wild. Those, those high level Outside guys that, figure your patterns out. They just mm -hmm. figure yeah, out what yeah, you're you doing. You see all, of these, all of these things of him, like, breaking down his opponent. And, and, it's like, and, then he, and then they watched the fight that happened, and he was exactly He's right. a technician, yeah, when it comes to boxing. Yeah, but that's what makes the really good guys good, is they, they can figure you out. Boxing experts see Gervonta as a boxer who can overshadow the talent and legacy of Floyd Mayweather. With his devastating punching power, brilliant across all levels, elusiveness, precise timing, astonishing speed, and virtuoso fighting style, all this describes the young and promising Gervonta Davis. A humble guy representing the new generation of the American boxing school on the global stage, he is completely a new kind of boxer. Perfectly prepared for any circumstances, in just a few years, he has cleared out two weight divisions and set his sights on his ultimate goal, to go down in history as the most brilliant, most technically skilled, undisputed champion in the lightweight division. Tank has repeatedly proven his perfection in the ring often outclassing the top fighters in his weight class, remaining untouchable and invincible. Being a perfect boxer, he sees no threats to himself and does not take his opponents seriously, staying undefeated. However, a new boxing star has appeared on his horizon, the renowned Vasil Lomachenko, who has repeatedly shocked the boxing world by schooling the best boxers in his weight category. Vasil Lomachenko is the greatest. We have a lot of great fighters in top rank, as you know. This young man is the greatest. He's Muhammad Ali was the greatest of all time. Vasily Lomachenko is the greatest of our time. But Vasil already holds the IBF title. He is already considered an aging boxer who will soon retire. 
He could fight a few more bouts with mid-level but well-known they healthy and unscathed. Why take the risk given that Tank Davis is clearly the toughest opponent for Vasile in the lightweight division? It's all about the champion's character, and the fight with Tank is another attempt to become the undisputed world champ. This lose was a Tefimo Lopez. It's changed me. Winner by unanimous decision, Tefimo My ego was a very, very big inside, very big. My ego was following me outside boxing with my friends, with my family. I wanted to say thank you, Teofimo, because I lose this fight, but I win much more bigger. It's a second chance, but if i not winning this fight, life is not cancelled. Why should Tank face obviously the most technical, fastest, slickest, and most dangerous opponent of all possible ones? But if you want to be special, then beat another special fighter. And I'm not talking about why you two weight classes up. Despite everything that fans love about Gervonta Davis, he is accused of not having a fake record and fighting mediocre opposition. These arguments are not baseless, as he has beaten up on average opponents for quite some time. Among Tank's best opponents, we can highlight only Rolando Romero, Ryan Garcia, and the not yet prime Frank Martin and Isaac Cruz. A victory over Vasil Lomachenko would give Tank not only the IBF belt, but something more. Tank would forever stop being called a lucky project, and experts would have nothing left to say about Gervonta's skill. I mean, what do you think about Tank? People comparing Tank Davis to you. I mean, what do you think about Tank, that? Tank is a great fighter. You think he's a great fighter? But what do they think? What do you think about them comparing him to you? I mean, you're a legend, my friend. Well, he'll be one too if he keeps fighting. Right now, Tank is at the top of the food chain and has the right to choose the biggest names in the boxing world. Credit must be given to Tank for, among a vast array of fights with boxers of various levels, he could choose to fight any opponent. But Tank understands that greatness is achieved by taking risks and having the biggest names on your resume. For this very reason, he chooses the hardest option because true boxing fans appreciate such high quality fights. Yeah, people want to see you and Tank Davis. Will we see that? I want to. I want to. But want it's, to. it's not. Maybe he want to. But uh, it depends our promoter. It's a boxing politics. It's right. a boxing business. So we'll see. No, what? it's it's not our choice. Right. Now, what's your message to Tank if he's watching this? You know, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, last thing. Your your prediction for you and Loma? Predictions? You know what I say, man? Ass whooping time, man. Ass whooping. About the ass. Because many people Ask understand. Floyd Mayweather. He said the kid isn't ready yet for the fight. Floyd Mayweather is his promoter. Floyd Mayweather, of anybody junior, knows about boxing. The question of whether Giovanni Davis is ready to fight a master like Loma should be put to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Let him answer that question. Is Tang ready, really ready, for this showdown? How great are Vasil's chances of creating a major upset, or does Vasil not look like an underdog in this confrontation? Let's delve into the classics of boxing. As it's known, the devil is in the details. Gervonta Davis is a unique figure in the boxing world. The former protege of Floyd Mayweather combines all the characteristics that a championship-caliber boxer should possess. Tank's arsenal includes Mayweather's techniques and feints, signature crosses and uppercuts, and he possesses an uncommon power for the lightweight division. Astounding and precise timing, and in terms of speed, few can match him. Davis never makes unnecessary movements and avoids dangerous situations in the ring. However, when his alter ego of a young Tyson awakens, he becomes an aggressive, ruthless and destructive puncher whose blow echoes around the world. When Gervonta goes on the attack, he skillfully combines light and fast work across different levels with hard and sharp accentuated punches. As a lightweight, he has a 97% knockout rate, further likening him to Tyson. His lightning fast hooks and crosses, combined with devastating uppercuts, sap his opponent's will to fight and compete. Gervonta also possesses versatility and dynamism in his boxing style. When entering a bout, he already knows which style he's up against with his opponent. He's also not fixated on one style, making him an incredibly dangerous opponent. 
Throughout the fight, Tank remains extremely focused, restrained, and emotionless. Vasily Lomachenko embodies everything that boxing represents as a distinct, standalone sport. Outside the ring, Vasil behaves modestly and quietly, remaining noble and respectful, dislikes giving interviews, and looks like an average person. But what he does in the ring is simply indescribable. The humble Ukrainian has fought over 400 amateur bouts and lost only once. In the professional ranks, his controversial loss to Lopez and one of the biggest robberies in boxing against Devin Haney does not make him weaker or diminish his achievements. In every one of his fights, Vasil Lomachenko neutralizes his opponent's strengths and literally toys with them, demonstrating his superior class. Has Loma ever faced such a powerful, bright, and strong boxer? Clearly, no. But Tank has also never fought opposition at Vasil's level. There's no doubt that these will be the two toughest fights in the careers of both boxers, adding even more excitement to this showdown. But who is the favorite? On Loma's side are invaluable experience, speed, technique, agility, an exceedingly high boxing IQ, insane footwork, and impeccable timing. On Tank's side are youth, immense power, tremendous punching strength, agility, and pragmatism. It's very difficult to find the right keys to Vasil's style, but Teofimo Lopez showcased Loma's weaknesses. Being larger than his opponent, Teofimo worked at a distance, rarely closed in and targeted the body with focused punches. Lopez moved very quickly and escaped from uncomfortable positions. Vasil managed to solve the puzzle Lopez prepared for him, but it took too much time. Simply put, Tank, who boxes as well as Lopez, needs to do the same, and he has the means for his style of fighting. Tank is physically stronger than Lopez, faster, more technical, and smarter than Teofimo. Therefore, he has every chance to defeat the legendary Lomachenko. But this fight will obviously be the toughest test in Gervonta's career. Loma, being a first-class strategist, technical boxer, and tactician, will be ready to present Gervonta with the best version of himself and finally determine who the true king of the lightweight division really is. As they say, the king is dead, long live the king! Ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a truly incredible spectacle. The opportunity to witness such a fight comes rarely, and all we can do is wait for the official announcement. What do you think about this fight, though? Write your thoughts in the comments.